I was on my way to two business meetings in Tulsa and they both got canceled. And I've never stopped over here at this Grand River area right next to 412. Thought I should try to stop, see what kind of fossils they have. I've heard about it. I think this is the right place. Um, I just have to figure out how to get there. So here's a, a drainage area that's dry. I'm going to walk down towards the river's edge here and look around. Okay, so far I have not seen a single fossil and I've been looking for just a few minutes. Where are the fossils here anyway? I mean, come on, internet. Okay, where my hand was just now were some fossils. It's the crinoid area. Let's see. All right, the search continues. I'll be back. This rock you can see some glimpses of hope. But this other this other rock is just waiting over here, laying on the ground. And I see some more on this other rock. Okay. There's something here. Something right here. I'm trying not to get too technical for everybody. You can see all the layers. All the layers of rock here. But this is so undercut, it looks a little dangerous. Alright, check this plate out. Somebody else must have picked this up. You got a lot of little fossils there. Where did it come from? Maybe in these areas. This rock behind me is fairly interesting. Let's take a look. That looks like the kind of rock you could cut and polish and have a lot of interesting shapes in it. Maybe I will keep a chunk like this just to show everybody I was here and found something. Now this one piece 
looks like it would be some, something more interesting. As you can see, there's a layer of fossils and then there's this larger section that goes through it. And I got to think that that would be some kind of bone. Look how it goes through the side a little bit. There is a lot to be explored here. Plenty of rocks on this side of the river. I'm sure with a lot of luck and a lot of patience, uh, you can turn over and find that nice little fossil plate where you can chip out a nice plate yourself. I would prefer finding a display uh, fossil, um, something that's on a flat plate, ideally. It's moder moderately difficult. You're gonna need to be able to climb down you know, a couple of feet of rock. So uh, if you're young and healthy, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I was just thinking about how it's time to leave. I only brought a, got a couple of pieces I wanted to keep just to prove I was here. I didn't want to bring out a hammer and chip off any uh, chunks, leave that for the rest of you guys. Um, but then all of a sudden, I looked down and I didn't see anything I wanted. Oh, oh well, I guess it's time to go. Well, thank you for joining me here, even if I was a little cheeky. I, I probably did not do justice to what was found here before. Um, I'm not really having a lot of time, and I'm not a fossil collector. I like display pieces, so it's got to be something that has a lot of contrast, a lot of focus of good things on it. Um, and it's probably here. People have probably found it. So good luck trying to look around and stay safe. Watch out for you know, all the normal things you would find here in Oklahoma. Wore some bug spray. Be careful with your steps on the rocks. Unlike me, maybe bring somebody here with you.
happy fossil hunting, happy rock hunting.